Isn't computer science just the study of computers? Saying computer science is about computers is like saying being a doctor is about stethoscopes. Computer science began long before the modern computer. In fact, computers began long before the modern computer. We've always had tools like the abacus, but the word computer was used as early as the 17th century to describe people who completed calculations by hand as a profession. During World War II, most of our human computers were women, and some became our first computer programmers doing work that was critical in determining the feasibility of the hydrogen bomb. Science depends on observations of the real world and follows the scientific method. So computer science isn't really about computers and it isn't even really a science. If that's the case, then just what is computer science? Well, it's the study of data and computation on that data. In other words, computer science is about solving problems and how to solve problems better and faster. Let's look at Super Mario Brothers. Not making it, playing it. We have the main character Mario who can run and jump through a level. The goal is to get to the end and touch the flagpole, but there are a bunch of obstacles in the way. Let's think of some interesting questions, like, does this beat the level? Can I even beat this level? How do I win? And what is the fastest way to get through here? Let's look at the first two questions. Do these moves win? And is this level even beatable? Suppose someone claims to have a way to beat a level. It's pretty easy to tell if they're telling you the truth. All you gotta do is watch them play. They beat the level and they were right, and if they didn't, they lied to you. Can we just as easily figure out if a level is beatable at all? We know that there's a dumb way, just try all the possibilities, but you'll be sitting there playing Mario for a long time. Can we do it faster? It seems simple enough, but this question is known for being one of the hardest math problems that still doesn't have a solution. Answering this question definitively comes with an award of a million dollars. So who really cares about Mario? I mean, it's just a game, right? Well, what if I told you that hard Mario levels are all that stand between a hacker and your bank account. Don't believe me? Well, we rely on something called encryption to protect all of our digital information. Most encryption relies on the fact that breaking a number into its prime factors is hard. But if we can easily determine if a Mario level is beatable, that would also mean that prime factorization is easy. How these two are connected is a topic for another time, but studying these types of problems helps us to see the underlying way in which problems are connected. So computer science isn't all fun and games. It's vitally important to the world we live in, especially as everything in our lives becomes increasingly reliant on computation. Computer science is sequencing the genome so that we understand more about the human body. It's creating robust tools and realistic effects to allow artists to tell stories that they've never been able to tell before, and maybe even in brand new virtual realities. It's giving you access to the entire world's knowledge at your fingertips. It's bringing you closer to that long lost friend that you would have otherwise never seen again, and creating a platform to let anyone share their ideas. It's finding ways to reduce our carbon emissions to preserve this earth for future generations. It's learning what lies in the next frontier, and maybe even taking us there one day. Computer science is a lot of things, but ultimately, it's about solving some of the toughest problems to propel us into the future.